It is so busy here at night in Osaka. Hey everyone, this is Tim and I hope you're doing well and I'm just avoiding the crowds here. This is Dontobury area and look at all the bright lights in the city. And if you go over this way, there are more people by land and by sea and quite lively here and uh, just got a chance to uh, visit all the street food here in Osaka. I took a wonderful tour. I think it was by Magical Tours. Uh, really cool folks there. Lots of good food. We got a chance to see some culture and enjoy some culinary treats from the temples to the shrines to the local fair like the gyoza and a wonderful array of fried skewers called Pushi Katsu. Fantastic. And it gets better with a little bit of beer. And after some more exploring and working up the appetite, some yakisoba and a tower of otomoyaki, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but that was absolutely delicious and really full here. But there's so many uh, food stalls to try. We can't wait to try a little bit more. And thank you so much for joining. And uh, this is the last night here in Osaka, and we'll head over to Tokyo tomorrow and check out all the good eats. And I uh, hope uh, you can join for that. But for now, uh, since you're here, why don't we go for some street food and look at this. You turn the corner and you have more restaurants and a giant crab right over there. And again, so lively here. And what you see over there in reality is right over here. Pretty cool, but let's look for some takoyaki, something small and light. And I think there's one right over there. And that is advertised by the giant octopus, as well as the giant line all the way down there. And opposing on the other corner, some more. But the line is just as long, right or left. Let's see, how about here? Oh, thank you. It is so mesmerizing and I got the half and half. Thank you so much. Ooh, that is hot and I finally found a little corner to enjoy the takoyaki. And you can see the mesmerizing bonito flakes just waving from the heat of the takoyaki. So let's give this a try. Get the skewers almost like chopsticks. Very short ones. Mm. Oh, very hot. A round crispy sphere on the outside and a big chunk of octopus in the inside and piping hot. Oh, and this is the one with the sauce. And let's try the plain with just a little bit of salt. Mm. I prefer this one. Much more crispy on the outside and a lot of seaweed and a little bit of salt to add that extra kick. Very good. So while it looks like a lot, it's actually not too bad, quite delicious. So I'm going to finish this off and uh, really getting full here. And uh, I think we can do some more exploring and walk off this meal. That was a lot of takoyaki and it's nice to walk this off. And I think we need something sweet. Oh, look at this. Oh, really nice skewers there. Hello. Oh, wonderful. Um, can I get one? Yeah, thank you. All right, and while we're waiting for the chicken to be cooked, this reminds me of Mr. Bean in Japan. Thank you so much. You. All right, and now we can walk and eat and hunt for something nice and sweet to cap off the evening. That is a nice looking chicken skewer and the cost about a dollar fifty I say. Let's give this a try. Oh, nice and charred on the outside, tender on the inside and a sweet tangy sauce. Very nice but I suspect it might not be appropriate to eat and walk at the same time. I'm just gonna find a corner right over there. 
and we find another yakitori place, but that's okay. I'll refrain. I have mine. And it just seems to be getting busier and busier. This is a Saturday night and about uh, nine o'clock. And let's see. Oh, I see another big lineup. And I guess lineups is a way to uh, figure out if a place is good or not. Not the most efficient way, but certainly effective. Ah, another takoyaki place. And finally, I think I have found what I was looking for. That little thing that looks like a bun. Well, it is a bun, a pineapple bun. And inside, I believe, is filled with ice cream, as we can see there. And we can see the line that turns the corner and goes all the way down there. And I think there's only one way to find out if the line is worth it. So really grateful that the line is moving quickly. And I think the vanilla is the best choice. And that's because I only have 500 yen left. Hello, Hello how are you? Uh, vanilla? Vanilla. Okay, 500. Oh, oops. Thank you. So after about 15-20 minutes, I finally have the melon bun with the ice cream. And I remember in Hong Kong, they used to have pineapple bun with butter. This is much better. Ice cream on a hot, warm melon bun. Oh. That's a little messy, but this is absolutely delicious. The melon bun is crusty and sugary crispy on the outside, soft and warm on the inside, and a nice cold ice cream custard, a very nice contrast. Mm. So, I'm cold too. So, this is uh, Dauntonbury area. Really exciting, really lively, lots of food here. And some street performers and adjacent to here are other areas other than food. You have shopping, the pubs, and uh, all the great activities here. So I think I'm gonna finish this off. And uh, again, this is the last night here in Osaka. And uh, I'll see you in the morning when we're in Tokyo. Uh, and I'll leave you with a gorgeous view of this wonderful area. Right here, with the baby.